own Shatter Bundle is currently trending. Now, last week was the funeral of Nollywood veteran actor, Mr. Ibu, who is originally known as John Okafo. Um, his children were trending because of something, something. <laughs> huh. During the, uh, they were singing, okay? And uh, um, before we realized, we saw Shatter Bundle, you know, doing something. It trended massively that time. And people were asking, what's this? We don't understand. What's this one for? Well, Shatter Bundle um, decided to go and do Tugumiso. Yeah, so you know, yes. It was spraying cash and then all of that. But this one, yes, so this is um, at the funeral of Mr. Ibu. But here's the thing. Shatabando doesn't want any issues on Passam, on Penetutum, Penenua, Wompe, Bob Risky Part 2. Intino. This is what Shatabando says. He's asking EFCC, which is the Economic Financial Crimes Committee, not to come after him just because he's going to spray Splurge on uh, people. He's going to spray cash on people at Mr. Ibu's event, um, a funeral in Nigeria. Yeah, this is youngest richest nigga in the building. I'm here to apologize all to my Nigerian brothers and Mr. President Tinubu and EFCC. EFCC. I'm here to apologize, give you people. I didn't come to Lagos to break any rule. Lagos is my nice home. And I love all my Nigerian brothers. So I'm sorry, support I come there and spray money. It's not it's not my intentional. I was bringing dollars there and I spread the dollars, the dollars can finish, and I and I go extend that naira and spread it there. So I'm here to apologize to everybody. I'm not coming there to break any rule. I'm respecting the country rules because it is my next home. So I'm here to apologize give everybody, especially EFCC, to forgive me for what I'm done. I'm not a like disrespecting or anything. No, 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 no. I can't disrespect the rules because all the country and the president, EFCC, they did for us to protect us, to protect the country, everything. So I'm sorry for what I'm done. And I'm here to forgive and I want you to forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I can't disrespect it, the country. The agent is for us. And yeah. so just as you've rightly heard from Shatter Bundle, he's currently apologized to EFCC, Economic Financial Crimes Committee. We are also, I am also pleading on his behalf that if this could cause uh, anything in relation to, you know, the possibility of there being an arrest just because he's going to spray cash, please, we are pleading on his behalf. Apacho, it wasn't intentional. Let's go on social media. So, Europe on Word says, man don't like trouble, I swear he's cool. Imagine he was tall. Huh? Okay. Bernice says, they can send him to juvenile prison for some time. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, can we move on? Adenta Rashford says, do they have a miniature prison? Oh. Fam Henry says, I never laugh this hard. Hey, Bando. It's never your intentional. And Pat Ossi is not his intentional. Moonfang Channel. Love and Pat says, they will just put him into Ghana, must go and just throw him into Ghana. See, you, 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 Ghanaians, some Ghanaians are just not nice. Like, you guys, some of you are just not nice. Why would you do this to Chata Bandal? Anyway, so he has apologized, and we hope that they don't come searching for him. And to know if you are, yeah, Chata Bandal, if you know you are in Lagos, come to Ghana right now. Run and come to Ghana. I think you'll be safe. Okay. Anyway, so that's it for the, that particular story. Moving away from that, let's go all the way to the United States of America and did it. PDD, Diddy Combs, Sean Diddy Combs is trending currently on social media. You know that a few weeks ago he was massively trending on social media where Cassidy had called him out for uh, the 10 plus years that they were in a relationship where she, was, she had experienced uh, physical abuse, um, uh, verbal abuse, abuse of all sorts, psychological abuse here and there. And it was very difficult for people to accept and 
you know, say that indeed, Cassidy, you are speaking the truth. They were, the people were refusing to accept it until there was a surveillance tape that showed that indeed Didi was physically assaulting Cassidy, who was his long-time girlfriend. Now, here's the thing. In the period where Cassidy was trying to, you know, convince people that this is what Didi has done, she had taken Didi to court because she wanted the whole world to know who truly Didi Combs was. And um, she was trying to claim some monies as well in relation to um, the fact that she had experienced some abuses here and there. Well, uh, courts, hopefully would be in favor of her because, yes, there are still some legal issues here and there. But FBI raided his homes, two of his mansions, during the time period that this whole issue was on social media. And the news is that, so here are a few footages of um, the aftermath of FBI raiding his homes. He has two beautiful mansions in Los Angeles, both of them were raided by FBI and were wondering what exactly they were looking for, but uh, that's just up to them. Now, the news that is currently trending about Diddy and his homes is that one of the mansions that the FBI raided, he's selling it. He's currently selling one of the mansions that FBI raided in Los Angeles. Now, he got the mansion for 40 million US dollars a few years ago. 40 million US dollars. But currently, Diddy is selling it for 70 million dollars. That's how much he's selling his mansion currently for. Let's take a look at this. Aero view. That's an aerial view of the beautiful mansion owned by Diddy Combs in Los Angeles. So this is one of the homes that was raided by FBI and is currently being sold by Diddy Combs for 70 million US dollars. Like you're reading here, uh, amidst his recent legal troubles. Maybe he needs some cash because a whole lot of sponsors that he was on Brands that he was on have pulled away. They have withdrawn. They have withdrawn from continuing their sponsorships and their contracts with him. So, yeah, it looks like maybe there's a high possibility that some financial troubles are crawling into the life of Diddy Combs. So let's go on social media. Let's read some comments from um, some of you. Lovely Pooch says, if you take off the million and just say $70, I might, I might, I don't know yet. I still got to see. Okay. World of Maya says, every move he make, making him look more guilty. LOL. Brand is, uh, Janai says, not him selling the crime scene. All things Sivan says, nobody trying to, trying to buy the house of horror. Oh. <laughs> Next one, for someone to be so innocent, he's making a lot of guilty moves. Okay, well, what do you think about Diddy trying to sell one of the homes that FBI raided just to get some evidence in relation to all that Cassidy had accused him of? Like I said, the case is still currently in court and we are hoping that whoever is culpable, whoever the culprit here, whoever that was in the wrong, they would definitely be brought to book. Okay, so that's it for the trending stories.